if you're wondering how to set goals that you can actually achieve, this video is for you. I'm going to show you my 8 step process on how to set your goals and how to create a 90 day plan so you can achieve them all. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go! This video has been brought to you by EasyPrintablePlanners.com, a shop with printable planners and planner stickers for blogging, business and life. Hello, my name is Karen and if you've never been here on my channel, I share all kinds of stuff on how to become more creative, how it is for me being a creative entrepreneur and everything in between about being a creative, being more organized, more productive and having an online business. Okay, we're gonna see how to set goals and how to create an easy 90 day plan. Why 90 days? Well, because less than that can be super overwhelming. Most of our goals need some time to grow and evolve. And more than that time can become a little complicated. Besides, sometimes our goals need um, uh, to change and sometimes they are different in um, six months or 12 months or whatever than today. That's why. <laughs> okay, let's get started with my step-by-step -step process on how to set goals and achieve them with a 90-day plan. <laughs> Everything starts with mindset. This step is super important for me because whether you think you can achieve your goals and, and get to whatever you want to get, you are right. Whether you think that's true or not, you are right. So I want you to think of all the things that you have accomplished in the past. All the things that you wanted to do, have or be that, you have, that you've already done, that you've already achieved or that you've already become. I want you to think of all the things that you've done that you felt proud of and what aspects of yourself have helped you to achieve all those things and all those goals. The purpose of this little exercise is for you to feel empowered and ready and prepared by seeing how many things you've already done and how many things you've been already capable of doing. I want you to feel prepared to accomplish everything that you still want to do and get because accomplish your goals is actually simple. You only have to clarify the required steps of your goal, or the um, get really clear on the steps and the task that you need to do to get that goal accomplished. You also need to clear some space in your schedule, in your calendar, and I put those tasks on that calendar, on that schedule. And finally, you have to deliberately and intentionally focus on taking action. Those steps are really simple. Clarify the steps you need to take or the tasks that you need to do. Add clear some space in your schedule and take action. Number two is be true to yourself. When you sit down to clarify your goals and make a plan for them, always remember to be true to yourself. Set and pursue goals that you truly care about. It's easy to fall in the trap of setting goals imposed by friends, family, and even social media these days. And then when we don't accomplish those goals, those fake goals, we feel terrible and we beat ourselves up and we kind of think that oh my gosh if I can do this then I won't be able to do uh, this uh, or accomplish this big super dreamy goal but um, for starters we didn't even care about those goals those imposed goals by external factors rather than ourselves so take a moment 
a day or even a week to dive deep into the things that you really want to get, that you really want to do and accomplish. You can journal about it, you can talk to a friend, or even talk to yourself on the mirror. Notice what things in life and in all areas of your life, your career, your business, your health, your relationships, um, even your spirituality and your personal growth, look for things and notice those things that really make you happy and also make sure that you know the things that you want to do that will make you happy, that will bring more of that happiness into your life. Number three is to clarify your goals. Okay, now it's time to focus on the goals that you want to pursue, all those goals that you want to make happen from within and being true to yourself. For this, I like to brainstorm and get out of my head each and every single goal that I want to make happen over the next three months. I go through each and every one of the goals that I wrote down and I try to visualize what would it be to have it accomplished. How would I feel? What would it be to have this in my life? How it'll change my life, myself, my perspective, my career, my business, and how happy will I be when I get it, when I achieve this goal. I do this in order to determine the goals that I'm going to pursue, um, that I want to focus on based on my feelings and my emotions so that I can keep true to myself and my values and my guide. <laughs> if choosing my goals gets tricky, then I use the goal generator worksheet from my planner and it really helps me determine what goals are worth pursuing. First, depending on the level of urgency, the level of importance, the level of joy and happiness it brings me, financial impact and growth impact. And depending on the size of the goals, I may um, choose from one to three goals for a 90-day period. For example, if I want to create a new collection of planners and stickers for my Etsy shop, for my shop, uh, I may take from four to six weeks and not the three months. So I can add another goal or two to um, to complete the three months. These goals could take me from six to eight weeks, depending on the amount of time that I, um, that I scope for the planners and stickers. Or you can focus on one big goal for all the 90 days and break it down into three smaller goals to pursue uh, one for each 30 days. Clarifying your goals is a try and test kind of thing. Um, you can be completely sure about the time or how long your, your goals uh, will take you. Sometimes they take longer than we think. Most of the times they take longer than we think. So ensure that you consider all the aspects of your whole life. Um, so you don't miss any other commitments and you don't overcharge yourself with tons of tasks and tons of commitments and tons of things to do. Whenever you're scared, remember why you started. No matter how excited you are about the goals and the dreams that you just said, there will probably uh, will be a time when you feel scared about your goals, when you feel kind of um, like you just want to quit or like you simply want to do other kinds of things. So um, we will talk about procrastination later, but today I want you to know that everyone feels this way. Everyone at some point of, of pursuing these precious goals feels um, like, oh my gosh, I just want to drop it and do other things. This has happened to me. This has happened to everyone. I swear, you're normal. You're not broken. You're not lazy. It's just that we just need um, a little extra push. And that extra push is yourself remembering 
why you started in the first place why you wanted this goal this dream this this project so much why your powerful why is what will push you and get you a little closer closer every time you feel scared every time you feel like you don't want to do this your powerful why is there for you because the truth is that no one will ever do nothing <laughs> to make your goals happen for you. No one will ever move a pencil or whatever to get you where you want to be. That job is your job. You have to move. You have to take action. You have to do the things. So once you remember your powerful why, it's time to be a little braver today than you were before and a little braver every day to stick to your guns to stick to your goals to dreams and cross them all and move and be whatever you want to be number five is to have a system that keeps you accountable and brings you results for me it's super important to nail down a couple of things before i even get on creating my goals plan i want to be really clear on why this goal even matters to me what can keep me motivated along the journey along the road because like i said before there will be a time when we just don't feel motivated to move forward um i also want to uh, get super clear super specific about what obstacles can get in my way and how i can overcome them so when they come i don't get surprised and i can actively get a solution or actively well i already know the solution because i've already written that down so when that obstacle comes i know what to do and i do it right away and all the key tools and resources that i might need in the future developing this goal as well as the habits that i need to start building and nurturing that will help me to make this goal happen even faster and easier clarifying all of this before making your action plan will help you to stay focused on your goals and moving forward no matter what you will be prepared when you face a setback and most importantly you will be coming to the person that you need to be to get those goals and those dreams number six is to create your action plan now that you know what are the goals that you want to focus on and how long they may take you it's time to create your 90 day action plan let's go one goal by one goal so you don't get messed up and overwhelmed by so many things to do okay great for this i like to take a page to brain dump all of the steps and tasks i need to take and do to accomplish my goal you can use a blank page your journal or like me your goal setting planner it doesn't matter if these steps and tasks are not in order what i want you to do is to put each and every single step out of your head and onto paper this way you'll stop thinking about what you need to do without actually doing anything then i like to think how much time each step or task will require for me uh, most of the time this is an approximation based on what similar tasks have taken me in the past and other times i just give my best trying to come up with an accurate approximation plus a little wiggle room see if i've already um have an idea of how long it would take you to do any of these steps or tasks that you've written down and jot down that number now it's time to put all these steps and tasks in order i do it on the page called my goal action plan from my planner and i set the deadline for each step and task based on the approximation i thought on the last step while you order this task you can think of some small rewards that can keep you motivated along the way to reach the next milestone of your goal and a big regard you can give yourself once you accomplish the whole goal 
This will keep you accountable and motivated and it'll help you create a positive reinforcement every time you make progress towards your goals. Finally, I like to see the big picture of how this goal and each of its tasks look throughout my year. For this, I use the little calendar below my action plan. I just add the numbers of each task on the pertinent month and when I tackle them, I like to write done. Number seven is to schedule your task along your 90 day period. Since you've already set deadlines for each of the tasks that you have to do in order to accomplish your goals, now it's time to schedule those tasks in your calendar, in your journal, your planner, or whatever you use to to get organized and make things happen. If you don't have anything like that yet, I really recommend you to start having a monthly planner and a weekly planner. A link will be appearing <laughs> right here in the cards um, with my favorite one. Okay, now start jotting down all the steps and all the tasks that you need to do in uh, your monthly planner or your calendar and uh, according to the deadlines that you said before. You can add all of the tasks um, at once for the 90 day period or you can go month by month so you can catch up with uh, maybe you, you left some tasks from the past month um, undone and you need to catch up on next month. So whatever you feel more comfortable with, you can schedule all, all the 90 day tasks, all the 90 day steps or go one month by one month. For me, it is easier to go month by month because I have tons of projects and, and things that I'm working on at the same time. So it is easier for me to go month by month. Always, always, always have your planner with you so you can see what you need to do and when. And also use the weekly planner uh, to get really clear on the weekly goals and the weekly tasks that you need to do on that pertinent week. Here I like to join that, jot down all the tasks I need to do, then write down the numbers of each task on the day I must take care of them and tickle the boxes once I finish this task. And this little box here lets me take notes on any stuff that keeps pending for the next week or any event that comes up at the last minute. And uh, yes, in a future video of this series, I'll show you how I work with uh, my weekly and daily planner separately. So keep, keep watching, stay tuned on this, on this YouTube channel and subscribe for, of course. <laughs> and finally, step eight is to take action and stay consistent. <laughs> the most difficult, I know, the most difficult part of learning is to actually take action and actually be consistent on taking that action. Now, everything is set up. The easy tasks are already done, which is, like I said, the planning stuff. And it's time for you to take action every single day every single day no matter what you must take action having a plan to accomplish your goals um, of course it's a big help now you know what you need to do and when you need to do it and it'll make it a lot easier for you to to move forward and get things done because now you have something that tells you hey you need to do this you need to to move forward and it's a constant reminder um so take advantage of this help of this reminder of the right work that you've done setting all of your goals and making this awesome 90 day plan uh, so take action and stay consistent stay consistent until you accomplish all those awesome goals and until you get to 
live those beautiful dreams and remember to give yourself those great and fantastic and exciting regrets every time you hit a milestone and of course when you accomplish that big goal or those big goals you deserve to be rewarded and of course you deserve to live and and get these goals and live those dreams and now it's time for the question for the day tell me in the comments write it down don't think too much about it and tell me what is your number one goal to do or to accomplish or to pursue during the next 90 days and then put hands into action and create that 90 day plan for your goals and that's it for today <laughs> i really hope that you have liked this video and this process so much uh, this is actually the process i use every single day to to accomplish my own projects and my own goals and it's been really fun to share it with you so if you liked it um, let me know let me know in the comments like the video share it and of course subscribe to this channel and hit the little uh, bell button uh, so you can know when I launch a new video because there are so many 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 videos I have for you on the oven about becoming your most productive um between procrastination making your goals happen making your dreams happen and i'm sure you don't want to miss them thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video bye